I have no patience, no joy for Jack. You feel me? <coughs> and look at this man's face. If it isn't the consequences of your stupid decisions, this is why you don't go bite for bite with a fuck. What did I say? What is good, y'all? I believe violence is on the menu for today's video. You see, Oluwulo dropped a new video titled Baki vs. Kingan Ashura in a nutshell. And I have not watched Kingan Ashura or that show yet. You know, I've seen some clips from it and it looks like they really be boxing. And then to put him up against Baki, he got to have some hands, right? But this may be the video to inspire me to go ahead and watch because either it's going to be so confusing, I don't know what's going on, or it's going to be so dope and I got to check it out. But with that being said, if y'all enjoy it, bro, go to Ola Wulo, hit them with the goodness. That's like, comment, subscribe, share, lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit them with it. And if y'all enjoy my reaction, please do the same for your boy. I always appreciate it. With that being said, let's get to it. I'm not even finna wish out top of the intro, bro. It's Baki. Let's just get straight to the half naked. Man. Or, or we could, or we could get an intro, or we could get an intro, cause the half naked man before ten seconds in is crazy. This movie. Who is this nigga and why is he wearing open toe sandals? I hope to God somebody puts a used condom in his next fucking McChicken. Then Did that really happen? He's got four grown ass unemployed men standing around in a circle and not one of them can show me a band. These niggas be on Indeed like it was Tinder's getting straight rejections. And this one right here rocking that tight ass Chinese buffet uniform might be- Hey bro, you can't get on Retsu head, bro. Fucking worst nigga sold his limbs for some Wingstop. Then you got this retired Nigerian prince. This death to the MPLS! <laughs> fucking ass NPC. <laughs> be playing ranked scam your grandma on the phone at 4 a.m. asking for her credit card details like- Bitch, I'm tired of arguing with Anyways, he was Mark out of an absolute weirdo. I don't trust this guy, man. He looks like he's wanted for sexual assault on a wiener schnitzel. And let's yeah. not how this man has undiagnosed autism. He just be screaming at the top of his lungs randomly. Mouth open as shit, catching. Nah, food. I forgot how weird Buddy looked, bro. He looked like he went to jail for groping his PlayStation Five. This is the last thing Phantom's Happy Meals ever see. And of course, you can't forget this fucking niggazoid, Mr. Oliva. This yeah, Mr. Oliva. Third ad for a Hellcat. Anyways, these third two ad? argued about who's on the most steroids. Like, yo, I shove three trend bologna sandwiches in my ass crack every morning. Three. <laughs> twin, I shove four. <laughs> wow. Never in your life call me twin, nigga. You're ugly. Anyway, yeah. The first fight is this guy who looks like he got left off a of Street Fighter. Saw Pang Yoro. Okay. Yoro, okay. Fuck? You put, I believe that's him in the thumbnail. And I. I did thought that that was a uh street fighter character i was like why is why is bro you you generic you are like generic muscular anime number uh nigga number like eight and I am telling you right now if you hit the random button on any character creation screen you will get this nigga anyway me, Oluwulo, we linked in, bro. He's fighting Hanayama, and the weight difference is just unfair. Nigga, that is grape. You can't fuck that little ass out. But Ryu Optimo is like a chihuahua. He got no fear in him. He starts sprinting at him like a broke nigga who saw Mr. Beast. He just starts swinging. Hit him so hard, this man Hanayama was posing for an off-guard picture. Nobody calls your name, buddy. Was that right? He just started button mashing on Hanayama's head. Talking about some fight with this fight. They're gonna put me in the next Street Fighter game. Nigga, shut your ass up. The only fighting game they're gonna put your weak ass into is Shaq Fu. Damn. I forgot all about Shaq Fu. Damn, am I getting old? I'm forgetting Look stuff. Face. Looking like niggas when you up the pipe. Bro got hit harder than Chuck who be hitting Isekai characters into a new world. Speaking of Isekai, this is just like that time I got reincarnated into AFK Arena. Just kidding. It okay, boxing. okay. Good, good little segue. Good little segue. That time I got... Anyways, back to the fight. Bro got hit so hard. He went flying back into the bleachers. Dang. He didn't even make it to the first checkpoint. This nigga might need to lower the difficulty. And all his Kangan homies are here. I ain't gonna lie. Lowering the difficulty on any game is so humbling, bro. I, I'm sorry. that he, he said that. And just know I had to do that recently on a demo. But it's not because the game was too hard. It was because I was playing on my computer. And my computer is like almost five. And it can't keep up no more, bro. It's also humbling when your computer can't keep up with modern games. Now you're thinking, oh, I gotta go drop the bread to build a new one. But if y'all see this whole like screen setup change, it's because I got a new computer. 
Watching astonished. The little femboy over here pipes up and he's like, I thought that was a woman. That nigga? And who the fuck gave him that BBL? And buddy on the right with quite literally the worst dreads I've ever seen. Bro needs to restart <laughs> as soon as possible. It's like, he got his dreads me. <laughs> he's just like, Duke Dennis. He came out of his mom's coochie at level 100, nigga. What? I think they call him the. The biggest drop of them all. Oh the biggest God. drop of them all. Somebody please call security. This nigga forgot that dick eating is banned at this event. Anyway, so Hanayama looks back at Unk like, Senpai, Senpai, am I doing good? And Unk's just looking back like, Yes, yes, my eight elixir nigga. Keep giving him. Not. Doing good? And Unk's just looking back. I'm sorry, ain't nothing going on in his head, bruh. Ain't nothing. There was a bird flying around in there. You can tell not a single thought was had in this moment, bro. Them eyes aren't, aren't even looking at him. It's looking at a grain of dirt on the ground next to him. Swear okay. to God. Yes. Yes, my eight elixir nigga. Keep giving him those demonic back shots. Anyway, so he hits retry. Who and had that camera angle? angle? You fucking goofy goober. This ain't really Wonka's Chocolate Factory, nigga. Wipe that smile off your face. I hate this guy. You can already tell he stares into his barber's soul during his cuts. Anyway, so Hanayama unzips his pants. Never made eye beast, contact. And this man immediately started fearing for his butthole. I won't lie to you. If I'm fighting a nigga and he gets butt booty naked like it's his final <laughs> form, I am acting disabled. I am no longer capable of throwing hands. Yeah, so nah. Like, you just gotta really skedaddle. Half naked. Naked Hanayama started cheesing and then got moist. Like, look at how wet this man is. Hey, fucking yo. I can't tell what's more. This man said, I need some lube. Alpha male TikToks. Anyways, he runs up to Hanayama faster than a teenage nigga with a perm would crash his 350Z. And he runs up just to catch the meanest sky. Mm, let the guy. His wife, and I will lie, I thought that shit was super effective, but I think got a full tank build. He what? Back, hits Honey, I'm a dead in the face. That shit did zero damage. Who is this dude? Like, really, nigga? Dumbass forgot to buy black cleaver. You should have known Honey, I'm gonna take you as hell. Anyways, Honey, I'm swings back, and now they're just going CTE for CTE. Who's gonna come out of this with the lowest IQ? Anyways, so Honey, I'm a devastating attack, but this man had already installed the metal plate in his jaw. He ate that. Okay, John. John? She with a smile said, My pleasure, no Chick fil A. And hit him with a counter to the stomach. This nigga tried to gas himself up, asked the writers for a flashback. Son, son, uh, please don't join us too. A flashback can go any please either way in Baki. I'm recording this shit too. Please don't get put on World Star. World Star? You. You mean I'm gonna be famous? You fucking idiot! No. You're gonna get fucking killed! I'm gonna be famous! Then they'll have to put me in Street Fighter! I'll show them! I'll show them all! Huh? He sound like he's trying to audition to go to Total Drama Island. I wanna be famous! Hit it! <laughs> These animators are fucked up having this man come out of a flashback mm. to a two-piece critical strike. The whole time, this man was prepared. He was waiting for that punch like How? for kids at the bus stop. He turned and hit this man so hard, had him doing Pilates, looking like Wii Fit Trainer. I used to be freaked out on my 3DS. I wanted her so bad. Anyways, he got... With an image like what you showed, I can understand why, but if you mean just the, like, normal Wii Fit Trainer... Hey, you freaky as hell. That's all I'm gonna say. Back up, but it was too late. This nigga's confused. <laughs> but he had to take a knee. He was staggered like an Elden Ring boss. Then side character number 36. I don't even want to talk about Elden Ring right now. Monster head. Ever since he was six, he's been bashing his skull against rocks. <laughs> nigga, what? I thought he was just autistic, <laughs> but he might have been onto something. So I'm watching like, oh, he's actually cooking. He's spamming attacks. He's beating the Koto Nai out of this nigga. But let's not forget who the Japanese big drop is. Talk to this him. This man grabbed his arm, put his ass in a God of War quick what? event, and just popped his shit like a pebble. Like a pep out. That was his Like a pep out. <laughs> he was kiss his late nights with Sky Bree goodbye. Anyway, so then this man Hanayama just starts charging up the ultimate attack. Bro hit him with a Falco. And you watched it hit you. To the game over screen. GG, buddy. This time he actually made a little bit of progress. I got to give him props. So he hits retry and he's getting up and he's walking. Health bar blinking. No bandages. Yeah, you can't show that arm. He's in sight. I don't know what this nigga's about to do. Except throw away all sense, logic, and brain cells. And a headbutt, a punch. Punch. Had each of Hanayama's fingers doing the boogie down challenge, but Hanayama was trying to hide how much that shit hurt. Like me secretly hiding the briefcase of dirty socks I stole from Ava Zura's house. Anyways, dude just forced his fingers back into position like EDP Ain't was forced no to go way. on a quest for the cupcake, and they continued no slamming their idiocy into each other. Even the animators said fuck it. They thought we wouldn't notice they reused the same punch animation 30 yeah. times. Anyways, third time was a charm, and Hanayama sent this nigga back to the game over screen again. And at this point, see, but like. I know, I know that ba you know, Baki and these fights are all about pride and, you know, this warrior's honor and stuff, but I'm a, I'm a logical dude, right? I'm a logical dude. So if I know that I can match you 
your attack with just a punch while you're ta you're taking literal brain damage. I'm gonna keep throwing that punch. Yeah, my arm might be messed up for a few weeks. I might need reconstructive surgery, but I promise you, you won't be able to count to ten again after it. He's taking full on headshots, CTE inducing headshots. That man's brain is never gonna be right again. Haniyama's arm is just messed up. He he's you know chill for a little while. It's right back. Dumbass. But he's definitely on World Star. Even the rich folk at home are watching. Everybody's saying GGs, but just like a receding hairline, he just keeps going. Animators have to reuse that punch scene one more time just to fucking knock bro. him out for good. Jesus Christ, bro, just go to sleep. Right. Knocked out four times in one fight. I swear, if he get back up, put the controller down. All right, so the okay. next fight's about to start, and who else but Buff Eminem is walking out? Jack. His theme song. I ain't gonna lie, Olulu, you can skip over Jack, bro. Like, I know Jack be having his moments, but after the pickle fight, bro, I have no patience, no joy for Jack. You feel me? And look at this man's face. If it isn't the consequences of your stupid ass decisions, this is why you don't go bite for bite with a fucking. What did I say? Nigga had to go to Dr. Miami and get the Mr. Potato Head facial reconstruction surgery. And I'm gonna be dead ass. I haven't watched or finished Kengan, but I can already assume that this nigga is just as stupid as he is. Anyway, so they yeah, he looked like he built off ignorance. Meatheads just start sprinting at each other. It's not going brain cell for brain cell. I have no clue why these dickheads are fighting in the Instagram filter, but slay buff ass niggas. I guess. <laughs> anyway, so Jack with mean combos, then use Mac Punch to send them flying and how the hell are you gonna have this man jack on two knees right now looking like lana Rhodes? health bar bleaky this is stupid. who are these women bro like if aiden ross beat up zeus this, okay i'm sorry i just had to get one oh who are these women that you keep bringing up but that's like the fourth or fifth reference he made in this video I don't, I don't be on Instagram that much, bro. Honestly, bro, if it's not playing video games, watching anime, watching YouTube, reacting to YouTube, or working, I, I'm not in it, bro. I be, I be like in my own zone, bro. Oh, bro, this is Baki. I'm just waiting for one of these niggas to get freaked out, and start peeing on somebody. And he's around standing over him, and he's that, talking shit. He's like, "That's not too close. outlandish." But you're stronger. I even sent you a message before the fight. Wanna be gay? Let's hang. Send. <laughs> the whole time Jack was just pump faking, he was charging up the meanest Ooh. right hook on 8 mile. Oh, Ryan lands and tries to get back up, but this man is just spinning. Rush down. On his shield. Hit him with a high Apply kick. the pressure. This man stopped dropping and rolling like his ass was on fire. I really, it is, this is a battle. This is a battle of I don't know who that is and mid. So I'm not really rooting for anybody. You feel me? They honestly almost look like the same character, except one got a haircut. Real slim shady was. Anyways, so they get back to it, beating each other more relentlessly than a Discord moderator beats his penis. And Jack lines this mean ass kick to the stomach. But the only thing it accomplished was or Pokemon's editor. Even more. Apparently, this nigga started charging up his fucking whatever the fuck this is, looking like Mark Zuckerberg's final reptilian form. And this is probably what old white people see when they look at black people at night. And it was like Jack's like, I can wow. transform too. Proceeds to pop thirty Percocets and start genuinely tweaking. Which Jack caught was getting the best head. Anyways, bro, guys. Wait, hold on, hold on. So you just. the throat control jack you're never beating the allegations you feel me my boy so you've just been holding a thing of pills in your throat while fighting that that is, I, he is the definition of devious throat by a punch to the face, got sent back, and this man is following him, giggling like the Green Goblin. Grabbed him by the throat, started staring into his eyes. And no homo, I'm not looking at his ass, but is this man wearing fake Under Armour? <laughs> <laughs> he slams Jack's head into the ground and starts stomping on it like he's trying to make him bite the curb. After a good like 10 seconds of this, he's like, all right. That should be enough. He's dead. Cinnamon, cinnamon, all cinnamon, cinnamon, all cinnamon. Jack just gets up and he's wrapping his heart out. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Ball is so big they can't fit in the back of a Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
up all his fucking muscles. At this point, what the fuck am I even watching? I think Discord e sex might have an easier to follow story than this. Anyway, so now that Jax Ozempic is kicked in, they're both in their final form, ready to go brain cell for brain cell again. This time they put that shit on two times speed. Rayon goes for a kick, and this is why I say I will never fight a nigga like this. He caught his leg and didn't go for a right hook. Did he go for an uppercut? Yeah. Didn't go for a counter of any sort. This nigga went for a fucking bite. Like I said, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. What is up with this man? He now he don't want to be his dad anymore. He wants to be pickle. It threw him 50 feet to the fucking sky. Anyways, he puts his hands in Jack's mouth, and I genuinely don't know what his plan was. That's just more protein for the nigga. Bro is literally just a hungry, hungry hippo. Remember this man, Jack? Yeah, you bite me, bro. I'm shooting you. All right, and I know it's Baki. The only thing that really work against him is a 50 cal. I, guess what? It's Baki. I had one with me the whole time is homeless, holeless, and jobless. He has nothing to lose. I wouldn't be surprised if they have this nigga's picture framed at the homeless shelter. And look at the aftermath. This nigga looks like a half-eaten Big Mac, like a fucking queso <laughs> victim. Anyway, so Jack goes for his final bite, but this man just grabs his neck. Okay, uh, the half-eaten Big Mac was cool. Then the queso. Yo, we got to get all queso back, bro. I, I like, if y'all seen on the gaming channel, bro, I was fighting the God Skin duo. And if you know what Elder, if you know Elder Ring, you know who I'm talking about in the God Skin duo. One of them was Kevin Durant, and the other one was. And straight up just chokes him out. You already know how to pause it here. A hey, fucking yo. But there's no way to stop the fight. <laughs> Jack really lost to the Timu version of Asura. Except not really, because he got back up and they just go back at it throwing hands. Look at all these workers trying to come in and stop them. Like, we cannot let Jack Hama take a W. HIV. You might want to social distance. All of a sudden, just hear these big ass footsteps. Wooga, wooga, wooga. Wooga, wooga. Oh, Jack, it's your daddy. And I don't mean your biological one. Wooga, wooga. Wooga, wooga. And the troglodyte Uga Booga nigga himself pulls up and he's like, Uga, Uga, ha, oh, I got next. And now there's this three way standoff, and I'm literally about to bust. We're about to see the greatest threesome of all time. Mm, Paul! The climax. These niggas come in and fucking cock block the hell out of us. And they've got to be joking. You're telling me a nigga with a missing leg and hands in the manual are gonna stop pickle. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. I won't lie, y'all. They definitely won't. We are already seen them versus Pickle, and they got folded. If I'm not mistaken, Pickle is the reason why both of them are missing something. So long since I've made videos, I'm Loki rusty as fuck. I'm not gonna be talking about Baki versus Oma in this one because I have a secret video plan for y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this one regardless, and make sure y'all download AFK Arena using the link in the description. Love y'all. Peace. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll give it a look, bro. Because I want to see, like, in this, you know, we get to see, we get, you know, fast snippets of it, right? And Olo Lulo does his thing. But there is, it's nothing like when when you watch Mbaki and they start using they anime bullshit science. But see, Baki has a whole different level of anime bullshit science. Like, Normal anime bullshit science would be they'll say a bunch of things and if you like if you don't think too hard on it or if you're not like an astrophysicist or a thermodynamics major or something like that, it kind of makes sense. But in Baki, it's like they just opened up a magazine, maybe not even a magazine. They just was there a little drunk and thought about it. They had Baki is steroids and uh you know, that bun, that uh, weed combined, bro. You get high and you start thinking and you take a few steroids and you let yourself have steroid weed thoughts, that's Baki. Because none of the stuff in this makes sense, bro. That um sound, speed of sound punch that I forgot what little bro name is. He's right there. He's the one missing the arm. That whole thing did not make a lick of sense. So you telling me that you were able to move your arm at 700 miles per hour to break the sound barrier. And the way you did it is like you added m m more bones. <sighs> or the fact that the, the whole training mantis thing that happened. Baki is just, I swear, who like the writer of it, I, I can never remember their name because I don't read Baki. And I, in the anime, you know, they show the names for a second. He was smoking something crazy strong, bro. Like, that's probably one of the best strains in existence. 
But uh, Ola Wulo fire video, bro. This the but Baki as a whole wild anime, and it's always been this way. And honestly, I'm glad they did this because, as far as I know, is Baki over? Like after the pickle and the Yujiro fight, isn't Baki like kind of over? Like that was the main thing is beat of uh, Yujiro. And even though I mean, for me, it doesn't feel like the most complete victory. It's a, you got to take what you get, especially with Yujiro. But uh, I'm going to end it here, bro. I can't wait for the next one because I think that's a big fight. That's Baki versus the main character of King and Asha. Now, hopefully, by the time that comes out, I would have caught up and watched, um, you know, the whole series on Netflix. I guess it's multiple episodes or it's a movie, one or the other. Hopefully, I've, I would have watched by then. Also, it's always going to be we don't mess with Jack Conner because he's an idiot, all right? He he cold at times. He does his thing. But he sells himself so much just because of his own stupidity. But this has been your, uh, oh, yeah. If y'all enjoyed this, hit Ola Willow with the goodness. I can never forget that, bro. This man makes some of the most, sometimes outlandish. Him and Philly are some of the most outlandish people I, I watch, bro. So it'd be outlandish, but it'd be funny, too. So hit him with the goodness. That's like. Comment, subscribe, share, lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit them with it. And if y'all enjoyed your boy's reaction, do not forget to hit me with it as well. This has been your boy, Reggie Wolf. I am signing out. Peace.